Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today I have another computer I'm going to show you guys for looking back. Now, this is a Dell Inspiron 113162. This computer I got recently from one of my dad's friends, which is really cool because I had just gotten rid of the HP Stream, and this computer is very similar, but it might actually be better. So, we're going to take a look at it. So, I'm going to open up the computer. You guys can see this is what it looks like. It's honestly a lot nicer, I think, than the HP Stream. It's got an Intel inside sticker. It does have a seller on though, but it's really nice looking. You guys can see there's a port there. There's a headphone jack, and then we got the power and HDMI and another USB port and an SD card reader. And we have our plug here. To plug it into power now this is my universal charger with a tip on it for dell systems i didn't get a charger with this computer so i'm using one of my chargers so i can power it up because they had lost the charger for it so yeah but we are going to open this up now i did install an os on this when i got it however i'm not going to keep what's on it so let's power the system up and see what i put on here so we got the Dell logo, and we got the bar at the bottom for some reason. I'm not sure why it's doing this. I actually don't know the cause. It's so weird. I've never seen a Dell do this before. So if anyone knows why it's doing that, please let me know. But it's kind of strange in my opinion. I've never had a system do that before. You guys can see it's on Windows 10. So I'm gonna sign in. All right, we are signing in now. And now it's loading. As you can see, we're at the desktop. This computer is a bit slow, I will say. However, it probably performs better than the HP Stream. I haven't really used it a lot, but let's take a look at the specs. So you can see that it is a Celeron N3060. It's got two gigs of RAM, just like the HP Stream does. So this is very similar. This might actually be newer than the stream. That, that Celeron might actually be a newer version than the stream had. But it does have the same amount of RAM. Oops, I don't know what I did. This trackpad is really weird. Can, I, can you go there? All right, we're finally back there, but I installed Windows 10 Enterprise on it. I tried to deploy this. It didn't work, so I had to use my Windows USB to reinstall it, and the one I used happened to have 21H1 on it still. Whoops. It's alright though, because I'm reinstalling this computer anyway. Besides, 21H1 is actually still supported, so not that big of a deal. But one thing about this computer is that it's got, like, barely any space. Although there's an SD card in here, it looks like but there's nothing on it. Well, that's actually really cool. I think that might be an SD card. I don't know, it says USB drive, but there's nothing plugged in. It's probably the SD card. Of course, Windows Update is telling me there's updates. Oh, we got angry Windows Update, everyone. That's what happens when you don't update your computers. You get angry Windows Update in the corner there. And if you're wondering why this doesn't have internet, it's because we got a new access point recently and I've not connected this before since I haven't used it. But I think there might be an SD card in here. Yeah, there is. That's cool. Oh, let's get it out. 32 gig SD card. I'll use this for something. That's really cool. But I'm gonna take it out for now because we are going to do something in this video. What's on this USB? Well, remember on the HP stream when I installed Chrome OS Flex on it? I decided I'm going to do that with this computer as well, so I can have a Chrome OS system. I may or may not keep it on here. I'm going to test it out for a bit. If I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I will just reinstall it with Windows, but probably something older like 8.1 because that might run better on this. So we're going to try Chrome OS Flex on this. The reason why I made this computer a looking back, even though it's a computer I just got recently, is because one, I wanted to show a better stream, so I wanted to show, I guess, a better one now that I happen to get one. I actually was planning on getting one in the future, 
but I already got given a replacement, basically, which is really cool. Number two, I can't quite remember at this moment, but the main reason is because I wanted to show a better stream, because this is basically the replacement to the stream I got rid of, and honestly, I did not like that HP stream. It was horrible. It just didn't perform well, and this actually isn't too bad, so... So as you guys can see, it's an Inspron 113162. Like I said, it has a BIOS from 2018. That's pretty cool. That's funny. I found a Windows update screenshot on here, which is really funny. But I had to open it in paint for some reason because everything's just broken. I don't know what's going on, but I wanted to make sure there was nothing on here, which there really isn't anything important on here. So we can go ahead and reinstall this. I'm pretty sure with Dell's it's F12 to go to the boot menu. Alright, come on, go to the boot menu. There we go. So, let's select our USB. Hopefully this works. I have never installed Chrome OS Flex on this before. I've only installed Windows. This computer's never ran it, so... I have no idea how well this is going to work at all. Hopefully this doesn't go wrong. It looks like it's working because I see it says Chrome OS Flex and I just made this USB tonight. But I'm mainly making looking back on this because you know I did actually make a looking back even on some other computers I got given recently too because those computers I had things to do with them and I was just like well why not. And plus, this is the replacement to the stream, so I kind of wanted to show that. As well as, I wanted to try Chrome OS Flex again, just like I did with the stream, and kind of just make another video like that, so I made this looking back. But the USB is booting, so hopefully this works. I'm gonna let it sit and hope for the best. Alright, we're at a white screen now. I think it's just being slow for some reason. It took forever to create this USB. I'm starting to wonder if this USB is dying because it took like three minutes to create and that just doesn't seem normal. Which, I'm gonna say this. Before I install this, I'm gonna put in a quick video I recorded earlier on how to create one of these USBs in case you wanna try Chrome OS Flex on another system of yours or any older systems. Also note the USB will get erased and also if you install Chrome OS Flex on the computer, it will get erased as well, so keep that in mind, and you can't dual boot it either. But anyways, here's that video. Alright guys, so we're going to create the Chrome OS Flex Media. So first, insert a USB drive. I have one right here. There's nothing on it because it's blank. And you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. And we're going to install the Chrome OS Recovery Utility. Yeah, Chromebook Recovery Utility. And this is what we're going to install, and this lets you, you know, create stuff. It's by Google. Alright, so you're going to add this, and now we're going to click on it to use it. And what you're going to do is we're going to get started. So you select a model from a list for Chromebooks. So when it says to identify your Chromebook, you're going to scroll down and find Google Chrome OS Flex. And then Chrome OS Flex Developer Unstable because it's still a beta, so it might be unstable. We're going to click Continue. It tells you to select the USB. This is our USB. We're going to continue again. It's going to create the image. All of it will be deleted, so note that. Create New. Now it's going to start downloading it, and it's going to create the USB for you. If you get a UAC prompt like this, click Yes because it is going to need it to create the recovery media. So, if it wants to write, you kind of have to accept that. So it has permissions. Hopefully this is working because it's, oh yeah, it's working. So if you get that prompt, click yes. So that way you can actually have permissions to write to your USB. I'm not sure why this says it's going to take 27 minutes. Maybe it's wrong, but usually it shouldn't take that long. But if it does, just let it sit there. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm using a USB 2.0 USB and I know it creates probably a lot of weird partitions on the USB. All right, so you can see our USB is finally created, so we can actually remove it. 
However, I'm gonna go open this and you can see that we have our USB drive and our EFI system. This actually finished like 15, 20 minutes ago, but I was working on another video, so yeah. So now we're gonna click done and then I'm just gonna eject it from the tray. And there we go, safe to remove. And yeah, now we can actually use it. All right. All right, can you not? I didn't ask. No. I didn't ask. Anyways, we're back. So, let's install this. Let's install it. We don't need to try it. I'm sure it'll be fine. This will erase your hard drive. My entire hard drive. Oh no. This has EMMC anyway. So I really don't care. Just erase it. There's nothing on here that I care about. Plus, being honest, Windows is not ideal for these systems. I mean, maybe 8.1 would run fine on it, but I just thought, why not try this again, you know? Hopefully this makes a better Chromebook than the, than the stream did. Also, I am getting my office clean soon, so I am going to record some more videos this week and schedule them. So a lot of the videos you'll be seeing will probably be recorded earlier, so keep that in mind. But this one you will be seeing on Friday, and it's actually Monday today, and I'm already recording it, so that's a good thing. I was a bit late on the last few, like the Acer and the DV6, because I was having issues with the DV6, and then with the Acer, I just didn't have a lot of time to record it, plus I was late on the DV6, so... Alright, it says it's complete, so it's gonna... Shut down in 29 seconds, remove the USB before turning your device back on, then you can start using Chrome OS Flex. Okay. Hopefully this detects the Wi-Fi. Sure. I just pushed the power button. Shut down. How? How? It's like lagging. Is this gonna do anything? I don't like what it's doing at all. Alright, I had to hold the power button. Let's turn it back on and see if this works. That wasn't a good sign though. But you can see that it's actually loading, hopefully. It got the bar at the bottom and now it says, oh, Chrome OS Flex, it is working. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna turn the light off now. I heard a sound. I don't remember that. Unless I just never heard it before. Yeah, let's get started with this. No, not this crap again. Welcome to Chrome OS Flex. No, I said no. So, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Fast, secure, effortless. Well, let's see about that. Oh, this does pull up our internet. That's cool. All right, well, time to enter this in. Well, we ran into a problem. It's saying error configuring network every time I try and connect it to our internet for some reason. So I'm gonna try the extender and see if that'll work. It'll be a weaker connection, but I did change some router settings today and maybe it's breaking it. Okay, so that network worked. So it's just something with the other one that isn't working for some reason. So I'll have to look into that later. But as you can see, we'll just accept this. I don't need to have the optional diagnostics though. Who's gonna be using it? You, well, yeah, me. Next. I'm gonna sign into this. All right, I signed in. It's saying, do you wanna sync? I'll sync it. Sure, you can actually use the hardware to help Chrome OS Flex because I know that this is still in development. I see it's saying something about the Google Assistant. Just agree, why not? Sure, I am all set. Sure, I don't mind if it sends me emails. All right, I'm gonna move this down. For some reason, it always connects to my old phone and I don't know why, so I'm gonna have to figure that out, but... It took us to Dark Reader for some reason, but... I know this Chrome is outdated because I don't update the bookmarks on here since I use Firefox. So, it's loading a bit slow. Then again, we just got into Chrome OS Flex and we are on a different network that's in another house, so it's gonna be slower. 
unfortunately. So that's the only downside. And it's on the wrong YouTube account as well. Yes, we're back to this again. Welcome to your Chrome device. I'm gonna have to like go through this again. But I don't know why it's on my old phone. Like, is there any way I can change this? I could probably forget the phone and disconnect it and pair a different one. Screen capture, so you can probably screen record and stuff. Let's go to the settings here. So about Chrome OS, it says Chrome OS. It doesn't say Chrome OS Flex, but it is. So this is actually really interesting because for older computers, this might actually run better. And if you're just gonna browse the internet and stuff, I think this would honestly be perfect. I may or may not put that SD card back in here. I'm gonna probably put it somewhere after I'm done recording so I don't lose it, but that's going to conclude this video. I know it probably wasn't that interesting because I was just, you know, installing Chrome OS Flex again, which I already did on the HP stream in an older video, but then I ended up wiping it for looking back because I was getting rid of it. But basically this computer was given to me, like I said, by one of my dad's friends. I got lucky because I was actually looking into trying to get a replacement HP stream or one that was better than it and I happen to get this, so that's actually pretty cool. So, yay. So now I have this computer, and this is gonna be the new one. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching, that's gonna be it for this looking back. There'll obviously won't be more next week, and next week I think my office is, is gonna start getting cleaned by the end of the week, so I'm gonna start recording those and get those scheduled and even the ones for next week if I have time. So hopefully I will have the videos, which I should. There shouldn't be a reason why I wouldn't have them. I'll figure something out. Anyways, guys, that'll do it. Hopefully the system will run good on Chrome OS Flex. I'll, you know, use it and figure out why my Wi-Fi isn't working on the other network. But other than that, it seems like it's all right, except it's connected to the wrong device again for some reason. Anyways, thanks for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and bye bye for now.